Hey, how's it going? It's Craig. I'm out in the garage and today we've got a little bit of a project to get on with. Let's take a look. Okay, so this project is something I've been looking at for a long time. It's a project around building an NES game, so a Nintendo game, a Nintendo Entertainment System game, um, from scratch, or kind of from scratch, I suppose, um, building it up using a piece of software called NESMaker. So uh, I'll show some clips of NESMaker from their, their promo content now, um, but it's it's a great piece of software. It's a, it's a really nice, um, easy to use interface. It's not drag and drop. It's not that simple click and, uh, click and drop type of thing. Um, which I think is good because that gives you a little bit more control over what you want to do. It's got a lot of intuitive things in there, so it's got a lot of scripting codes already in there, which you can use as um, like macro type things. So you can build in like commands and how to walk and things like that. You can code every single thing into it, um, but it doesn't give you every single thing that you might want to do over the next uh, year or so in your development as you're building out a game. Um, let's take a look at the, the system and then I'll come back to you and give you a bit of an overview of what I want to do over the next couple of months. Cool. Okay, so that's a bit of the, the, an insight to what NESMaker is. Um, I've started with the tutorials. I think the tutorials are the ultimate place to start with anything like this. Um, I watched the 20 tutorials online um, on their website. Uh, they're all free to watch and uh, they're really useful. They take you right from the scratch basics of looking at the interface, how it all works and everything else, right the way through to, I think, um, episode 20 of that tutorial series is burning your game to a cartridge so you can play it in your, your hardware. Um, so it takes you through the whole thing. Uh, that 20 episode series I watched and I listened in the background almost like a podcast um, so I didn't really follow it along step by step. But the one thing I have followed step by step is the 12 Days of Nesma. So I'm filming this on Boxing Day um, as I said. So it's a Christmas themed 12 day uh, tutorial series that take you from again from the basics to getting a final game. Um, I'm on day five of that series so far. I've not kept up with it on um, day by day just because of work and family and everything else and Christmas as well. So it doesn't matter when you're watching this. This series is really useful to use as a basis of building a game. Um, so I'm on day five and already I've got a um, Bomberman style looking maze type game that I've set up. Um, I can shoot snowballs, I can, um, I've got three different types of enemies, ones that walk side to side, ones that walk up and down constantly, the ones walk randomly, um, but the ones that walk randomly also stop every now and then and shoot fireball, uh, fireball snowballs. So that's pretty cool, so already I've got a game which is quite fun to play, I can click, uh, collect cards along the way, the NES logo, or NES Maker logo as I'm walking around which is pretty cool. Um, I haven't got it into a position where you can win or lose at the moment, it's just really at a basic stage. So over the next couple of days, I'm gonna be working on that, getting through that series of 12 um, days in Esmus, and then I'm gonna be starting to think about what I wanna do as a project to build on my own. Um, and this is where the community come in and YouTube comes in. I really haven't got a clue what type of game you can, I wanna build. You can build everything on you. You can build um, like brawler games, you can build uh, adventure games, you can build like shoot 'em up games, it, there's loads of different templates on there with scripts already built for you. So you can build whatever you want in there. You've got Castlevania Mega Man type games and things like that. So it's really interesting. Um, and I don't really know which one I want to do first of all and what I want to do, but um, if you've got any comments, ideas around the game concept, then please let me know. Um, I'm not <laughs> promising it to be 
amazing or anything else, but hopefully at the end of it we'll have a playable game that we can uh, be proud of as a community. So this is uh, as much for you as it is for me. If you want to get involved, please comment down below and let me know what kind of game you think would be really fun to make. Um, we might be able to throw some people's names in there as well as characters and things like that, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it progresses. So first, first of all, I want to show you some of the things I've done so far. I'll put some video footage up here um, of the, the progress I've made on that 12 Days of Nesmus. Um, basically, it's, as I said, it's, it's to a basic state. I can walk around, I can collect things, um, but I just don't get any points or anything at the moment. I haven't got any heads up display at the top. Um, so I've got to put one of them in there, which is on a, a tutorial in a bit, I think. Um, also, I think it gets into scoring, killing the bad guys, and all those types of things. So I'm really looking forward to finishing that series off. Um, so my next video probably will be um, a wrap-up of the 12 Days of Nesmus. And then after that, I'll probably progress onto a project building something for myself. So really looking forward to it. Um, hope this is of interest to you. It's uh, something a little bit different. I normally work on hardware. I've not worked on building a game or anything else since probably... 20 years ago when I used to be in university and I started doing a bit of game development in uh, Macromedia Director and I think it was Macromedia Flash back then and Action Script and coding and those types of things. Um, I can still code a little bit, I can code in HTML and CSS and things like that. So hopefully those skills are coming a little bit useful. Um, but the, the whole thing around um, NetsMaker is that you don't need to be a massive coder to build a basic game. Um, the more coding you do put into it, the more features you can build into your character and your gameplay. So they do come in handy. Um, and that's one thing that I really, really need to get into at the later stages, I think. Right for now is just building a, a basic game and then we'll improve on it as it gets better. Okay, so one of the first things I've done as part of this project is to play around with some graphics. And so this little guy here is one of the first things I designed is a, a real basic um, idea just to get a character into a game. So the idea is by, by the time I finish this um, Nesma series, I want to build in my own characters into that game, play around with graphic development for the Nes first, because I didn't appreciate how difficult it was to design and uh, craft something that looks really good on screen using such basic colours first of all, and also um, just the, the pixel size of, um, or the pixel resolution of the NES, um, obviously being an 8-bit console is very limiting. Uh, so what we're looking at here, that this character I uh, designed in uh, 320 by 320 pixels on Photoshop, so it's way, way, way too big for a, a NES screen. So what I need to do on that is take it right back down to um, probably a 16 by 16 pixels grid. Um, if I can, if that's small, uh, too small, I'll, I'll have to take it up to a 32 by 32. Um, but every block you get has a limitation of four colors. So depending on how you do it, you've got a neutral color, which is your, your background color, and you can pick three colors from quite a limited palette. Um, once you do that for one block, you can do the same for the whole head area of this guy up here. I could do all his hair, um, his face color, um, the brown for his eyes, and... Um, the white as well because white would cast, cast as a color um i could do those as the colors for the head but then the body obviously i've got different blues in there so i'd have to have different palettes for those um and yeah it's really limiting and when you look at some of the nez titles especially the later ones and the the shading they've achieved on there and everything else it's really impressive what they've done on such a limited palette and limited uh, size um so i want to play around with the graphics for a little while just to see what i can achieve um, in my own skills as well and develop for this. I think it's a real challenge. You, anyone can design for a massive billboard and make it look amazing from a distance and everything, but designing on a screen that's gonna be right in front of you and in such limiting uh, circumstances is really gonna be a challenge. So I'm really looking forward to doing a bit of that. So I think before I get into a, a game dev, I wanna play around with graphic development on this first, um, on this template, on this Nesmus template, and get some graphics into there, which are my own and then move on to building up my own game after that. So building my own game is probably something that is gonna take me ages and it's gonna be a bit of fun. It's nothing serious. It's not gonna be a commercial game, as I said earlier. It's just gonna be a bit of a laugh to use this software to build something um, that I can be proud of, maybe get it burnt to a cartridge, 
maybe get a couple of extra cartridges for people in the community if they want them as well. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it proge how it progresses and things. Um, I think it's going to take a lot of time, so I don't know how long this series is going to last. Um, so we'll keep this as a playlist on my channel, um, and we'll see how it progresses over the next couple of months and into 2021, where hopefully we can get a game that everyone can play either on an emulator or on a cart at some point. So yeah, let's see how that progresses and see where we get to. Um, but I do really want the community to get involved in this, so the community is really important to me. Um, this system and this game uh, development package, NES Maker, allows you to make different types of games. So it's got some uh, setup scripts already there for different types of games. So you could do a uh, side-scrolling scr uh, beat-em-up type brawler type thing. Um, it's got shoot-em-ups, it's got um, adventure RPG type games. Um, it's got loads in there, it's got quite a few different template setups in there, so if you've got any ideas for a game, maybe we can get some of the community names as characters in there or something else, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the first episode. I wanted to show uh, a little bit of what I've done so far on the, on the Nesma series. Um, I wanted to introduce the, the Nesmaker package. I think it's been around for like two, three years. Um, the guys do a great um, job of promoting the, the system. Um, they've just done an award to Christmas now, which was really interesting to watch that back as well. Um, some great games getting featured on that, the people who have developed on it. Um, I'm going to link everything down in the, the description down below, so please take a look at those links. Have a look at Nesmaker, have a look at the system, um, and let me know in the comments what you think, what we could do, and we'll take it from there. Cool, catch you soon.